Hello, hello, and welcome back to Minotaur Hotel. I, I got that drink. It's a bottle of water. Yeah. Can, can I can I open said bottle? That's the, that's the question. Ha! Got there. Uh, okay. That's nice. That's nice. That makes me feel a little better. Only a little bit. <laughs> it is what it is. Probably should have gotten this an hour ago, but... You know. <clears throat> and yes, he was my, uh, my brother. There... The no introductions are necessary. Will you take him as your defendant? The notion that his brother might be so close uh, robbed the prince of his words, but by the Olympians' mercy, he had enough um, presence of mind to nod. Very well. Andragos, you may take your place. He drifted in, a radiant Andragos, as di dignified and peaceful as the moon's journey through the sky. He far shot, his far shooting gaze locked. Hmm, give me a minute. Eh, there we go. Uh, locked um, onto his little brother, and Asterion um, understood why no one's, uh, one could see in the dark underworld, for magnificent souls such as his uh, shone with um, fragments of the sun. Shone, yes, okay. Thank you, Your Excellency. And hello, little star. Andragos, the brother who ha who never returned from crossing the sea, uh, uh, grievously uh, murdered in the flow of his in the flowering of his youth. The firstborn, much like all older brothers, he preceded uh, the world. His name existed before uh, letters and words. A sound and language were created in accordance with his voice. His words and deeds uh, were the right ones, as correct as anything could ever be, and all else was judging in com was judged in comparison to how it uh, uh, fared against him. Uh, the brother who passing whose passing uh, broke everything, the line of succession, the family, the people's hopes, Asterion's eyes, a lifeless Andragos, uh, Bur. Uh, burned to ash far away from home and carried to his place of rest by the by the sticks. And at last, uh, they were uh, just a few a few feet away. Andragos, you. In life, Asterion knew not uh, knew not the boldness to hug without permission, but in death, that desire was overwhelming. He wanted to hold his brother close to his chest, and hear the tall, t tall stories from his adventures, and know that he existed now without pain. For a moment, Asterion could believe that everything which once uh, mattered was worthless. No, his brother never crossed the sea. He never completed, uh, competed among uh, envious men. He never died by their hands. Asterion was never exiled to the labyrinth. Uh, no crime was committed, and no redeemer had uh, had to come, and no igno. What it? What is this word? I keep saying, ignoble. Yeah, right. I don't want to just be thinking like of a Yu-Gi-Oh card when I read this, but that's what's happening. Man, ignoble knights really did flop, though, didn't they? Like they had one play, and then they banned smoke grenade. That was always a bad, like, an un that was that was an unhealthy combo, but like, man, they did nothing, did they? Uh, uh, no, um, ignoble death happened. Uh, none of it was true, save that Asterion and his elder brother uh, stood close together once again, perhaps as they always did. Uh, there was no reason for fear or sadness, he knew, and yet the um, Cretan prince's sight uh, grew blurry. You aren't supposed to cry this early. You haven't even heard my speech. Lies. The prince was not lying. Was not crying. We will have all the time to catch up once I save you, little star. Now don't worry. 
You made, you made quite a mess, but I know you better than you know yourself. I'll show their excellencies that, uh, just what kind of person uh, you were and are. By the weight of my words, and the value of my prom the value of my promises, it won't be long before we we are walking away from here, my brother. Your Excellencies, may I begin? Proceed. Very well. I watched I watched this trial from the sidelines, and so far it has established the three center central points. The first is that the defendant, Asterion of Crete, uh, led a respectable life overall. He was an honorable youth uh, who was um, ear initiated in the mid. Wait. Initiated? Initiated? Yeah. In many mysteries, uh, which he refused to reveal here, as expected from one who knows their um, importance. I can independently attest uh, that he was no cannibal. Indeed, it was our sister who tricked him into eating beef. Do note that, when given the chance to save himself by um, damning our father, he denied the opportunity. This too speaks volumes about my brother's character. And while many facts were expunged from the records, uh, in my preparation for the trial, I was um, uh, made privy to them. And they left no room to doubt that Asterion was and is a fine worshipper of his Lord Zeus. Uh, this is the uh, central fact of this trial, Asterion and Kree's conduct. In life was overall exemplary. The second point is that, despite his honor, Asterion did fail his duty, which presumably uh, in your... incurated uh, the um, wrath of the gods. Uh, the, th the third one is, of course, his... Uh, his supposed cowardice to face of, in the face of death. These two points stand against the defendant indeed. But I shall proceed now to extinguish both, uh, thus securing him only the uh, finest afterlife in Elysium. And now, let us begin. It is true that Asterion of Crete did not struggle against his murder. Uh, one would be forgiven, then, if they believe this is a case of cowardice. However, the truth is a bit more complex, uh, more than the defendant realizes. In the name of fairness of which your excellencies are renowned, uh, we must appreciate the context of the uh, defendant's life. I called him my brother just now. To be more precise, my bl uh, by blood he would be my half-brother. King Minos of Crete, my father, uh, earn, Pru earn Poseidon's wrath. I am told that is the um, source of the curse which afflicts uh, my mother, uh, daughter of Helios. You see, uh, my father was meant to sacrifice a bull sent to him by Lord Poseidon, but instead added it to his herd. Uh, the bull was Asterion's sire. Your Excellencies, my brother is evidently half bull, as you can see. Um, as, um, as are you, and as is the um, lineage of Crete's ruler, and his death occurred in a temple at the heart of the island. As far as the defendant's uh, conception, his failure uh, to his duty and the um, pacifist's uh, demise has uh, have been um, regarded as isolated affairs, but I tell you now, they are all connected. The truth of the matter is that Asterion, Prince of Crete, was born with a heavy yoke upon his back. Uh, the tragedy of his life was caused by our father's mistake. And to add insult to injury, the defendant indeed failed the gods. Now tell me, your excellencies, uh, what must you do when the, when the wrath of Olympus, Olympus is incurred? Uh, please answer my question. To simple, Andragos of Crete, the mortal must offer a sacrifice. Indeed, tell me then, what finer sacrifice than a bull of blessed lineage, one descending from Lord Poseidon's gift, and a willing one at that? Note the circumstances of his death. His thread was cut by a holy artifact in a um, temple where sacrifices of, of cattle were performed. There was no cowardice on his part. Indeed, he faced his death with the bravery of a warrior and a holy man put together. 
His blood spilled to the gods, and his sire's was meant to be, su uh, be since the very beginning. My brother's death was ignoble. It was an honorable tribute to the gods. Uh, twice blessed, in fact, uh, for in... Uh, for in death did he repay our father's uh, debt. All I have said, however, uh, hinges upon an admittedly dubious point. Was my brother's death accepted as a sacrifice to the, god <clears throat> to the gods? With the aid of the oracles of El Elysium, at, uh, and at no small price, I might add, this question has been answered, your excellencies. As of just a few hours ago, it became a matter of public record, written, signed, and notarized by the House of Hades himself. That the debt uh, accursed by Prince Asterion of the royal lineage of Crete includes the king, the current king Minos, Minos uh, has been um, pardoned by Olympus as a direct consequence of the self-sacrifice performance uh, performed by the demigod Asterion. The courthouse itself shuddered at the prince's words. This leads us back to the, to the second and third point I raised. According to the narrative I have prov proven, Asterion is, is not, cannot be deemed, a coward who allowed himself to be murdered, because he caused, his cause of death is ritual self-sacrifice. And regarding the failure of duty, we have just proven that this debt has been willfully repaid, and so should not be counted against him in this trial. Which brings us to the central point I outlined so far. This trial has only proven one usable uh, piece of information about the defendant. He led an exemplary life. Sentencing Asterion of Crete to Tartarus would be an unforgivable injustice, your excellencies. His fate, per the Olympian's decision, must be a blessed one. Uh, these people uh, leaned towards each other and exchanged whispers, um, but Minnow so wasted no time. He smiled and clapped. What a fine display of uh, orat orator or oratorical uh, skill, your majesty. My fellow judges, what say you? His logic is sound, your excellency. Indeed, and the courthouse assistant is signaling that the House of Hades has indeed notarized uh, the um, Andrico's uh, alleges. Very well then, Asterion of Crete. It is true King Minos of Crete was meant to deliver a sacrifice to Lord Poseidon. Uh, that a bull sent by a god, uh, by the god himself. Your mere existence is the result of your father's failure, and all the disgrace which followed, including your fate, uh, comes a, uh, comes as a byproduct of his greed. Eh. <laughs> uh, by the argument, uh, by the argument, the failures are uh, no greater than your father's. And yet, your sacrifice may indeed be uh, uh, mightier than his crime. Make no mistake, you have brought disgrace. Man is not meant to relinquish the spirit of his life without a fight. But your death would bring an end uh, to what would have been a disgraceful affair, which could have spanned many generations to come. Lord Poseidon's thirst is quenched. And, if only by a small margin, your balance in life uh, might have been blessed after all. There is more to discuss, however, beyond your intentions, into the mysteries. Initiation. Yeah, that's that word, right? Uh, into the mysteries. Uh, I see here that yours was a uh, pious life. Andragos, would you care to testify to this? Surely, Your Excellency. My brother was a uh, dedicated worshipper of Lord Zeus by means of offering hospitality, and Lady Hestia through the uh, maintenance of her temple. There are few mortals who follow their teachings with such respect and care. Asterion must not be punished. It would be an insult to Lord Zeus himself, and would bring unending disgrace to whoever would, uh, who would be responsible for such a thing. 
It is true. Lord Zeus protests. Uh, uh, protects uh, those who respect the full customs of hospitality, and it would uh, seem the defendant uh, left nothing to be desired in this regard. In fact, it would seem twas a guest who infringed upon her this custom uh, to the uh, detriment of the uh, defendant. In that case, if my fellow judges have no matter, no other matters to raise. Uh, then we may uh, proceed with the sentence. The truth is that, the truth of the matter is clear. A stereon of Crete seems fitting for the um, Asphodel, Asphodel uh, metal, uh, meadows. Indeed, neither course nor steps steeped in heroism. A mediocre soul. Very well. If there are no further objections. Your Excellency, with all due respect, I object. There is one matter uh, we have not touched upon. So far, you have judged my brother with eyes aimed at his uh, defeats, uh, defects, perhaps in influenced by the manner in which he uh, perished. But I tell you that Asterion of Crete, a prince in blood and spirit, holds a great deal of heroism. His destination, I dare say. Uh, must be among the uh, thrice blessed souls of Elysium. Your Excellencies would, uh, your Excellencies would allow. I uh, shall present the case in his favor. Oh, by all means, proceed, Prince Andragos. Let us witness the Cretan gift of speech, and Elysium, such as you, may achieve victory even here. I am most grateful, Your Excellency. There is no doubt I, um, in my mind that we shall find the perfect truth of the matter of Asterion's valor. Hereby, I propose that Asterion of Crete, uh, my uh, Asterion of Crete, uh, my brother by um, blood and love, is deserving of Elysium's grace. He has, after all, uh, heroism in his chest. I shall prove my statement with two tales about his life. You see, my brother is a humble man. He fails in he fails to mention, and um, an important aspect of his um, religious duties. Did you know, perhaps, uh, what role he played in our rites? No, that information was not made available to us. He was a centerpiece for our worship, Your Excellencies. Every year since his third winter, our father would um, uh, bleed him and distribute the. Um, diluted a uh, fluid, fluid uh, to aid farmers. His fluid was remarkable, had remarkable qualities, Your Excellency. Uh, blood and iron mixed together, uh, befitting of a demigod. It was a wonder to see. His fluids were capable of summoning life in the blink of an eye, and fish would flock to him as uh, if he uh, so much as immersed his hooves in the sea. It is no understatement that Crete's finest harvests are in large part thanks to him. Is that not right, my brother? Yes, Andragos. I remember those occasions very well. An honorable man, if there was ever one. Ah, uh, ah. But here you have committed a mistake, Your Majesty. Asterion's preparations and such rites bear no relevance uh, to the matter at hand. Elysium, as you know is meant for braver bra breed of heroism. It rewards the fine men, uh, bearers of virtues such as uh, might, prowess, and strength, whose accomplishments have been elevated to the level of legends. Ah, well, Asterion did perform one heroic feat, uh, which fits that bill. You see, shortly after my passing, a, brand of, a band of um, centaurs rampaged through the Korean countryside. I was made aware of it thanks to one of their victims, uh, who um, relayed the tale to me. My um, father's uh, forces were too busy dealing with my passing to dispatch the necessary combatants. Without um, anyone else to turn to, a priestess um, ventured into the Cretan labyrinth and convinced my brother to venture out. Although I did not witness it myself, uh, seeing as I am dead, I know he vanquished the centaurs and restored peace. Now that, indeed, is closer to heroism, Elysium houses. 
So, how many witness, uh, witnesses saw this event? Excuse me? Witnesses. Ah, perhaps you are not familiar with this pro uh, uh, procedure, Your Majesty. Your passing was a very public affair. A Cretan prince, heir to the throne, whose victory over the Athenians was so humiliating that they cut their life short. Yours was a death with hundreds of witnesses, elevated to legend as soon as it occurred. Today, a liar players sing of your accomplishments. But this, killing a few centaurs, there's nowhere near the same level. And if you uh, cannot point us to a few dozen witnesses and accounts, that I am afraid we must um, regret, uh, reject your um, allegations. It's Asterion. Uh, do we have witnesses? No. There is one, but all of it was kept a secret. I was not allowed to leave the labyrinth, so she swore secrecy. And so, we must assume this is but a footnote, an irrelevant feat of heroism, unfitting of being preserved. Now, uh, if there are no more objections... Asterion of Crete, uh, is there something you would add? Your Excellencies, Judge Minos, and the rest of you, it has uh, been an honor learning of our lineage, lineage in your presence. Despite the complexity of my circumstances and, and the difficulty of this ritual uh, trial, I am happy knowing that my, my self-sacrifice has been accepted and that Father's uh, actions have been forgiven. That no fortune will fall on our countrymen. And Andragos, my brother, thank you. Uh, Judge Minos, uh, stony, Minos' stony features came undone, like a rock wall consumed by the sea. Asterion of Crete, it is not often we receive a soul with a history c uh, comparable to yours. It is tragic that your passing came so early, and that I must stress, and um, with such an um, entanglement of comp uh, complicated complicating of factors. And yet, I must tell you that the, um, uh, the meadows, uh, the Afo Afodel meadows, are not an unpleasant home, and it is my hope that you will find there, um, uh, more peace than you enjoyed in life. For one such as you, uh, medio mediocrity, uh, the life of the, uh, true commoner might be a blessing. Yes, your excellency! Asterion of Crete, in the name of Lord Hades, master of, of good counsel, hereby you are cleared of all charges and sentenced to the Aphidelf Meadow, where you shall experience a mediocre eternity, uh, devoid of pain, but not of work and toil, uh, free of both uh, indignity and glory. Court is adjourned. Uh, even in the, uh, re in the dark realm where souls feel no warmth or touch, uh, the ghosts cling to the rituals of the living. Devoid of all physical uh, sensation, the two siblings crashed together and hugged, but this time it was the youngest who raised the um, oldest from the ground. The living mourn death, uh, but the um, denizens of Hades welcome it for, uh, for the dear friend uh, it is. I'm sorry, Asterion. I couldn't do it. I wasn't good enough to convince them. Sorry. Without you, they would have sent me to Tartarus. Your honeyed tongue saved me. I could not have asked Lord Zeus for greater help. If anything, it is I who should apologize for... No, uh, strike that from your mind. What's done is done. Let's not... We shall speak of this matter only once. You hear me. Now and nevermore. It lasted only the blink of an eye, but the Cretan prince felt once more like a child being scolded in the palace for breaking a pot. No, you shouldn't have let it happen. That I say with um, no doubt in my heart, indeed, life is a gift to be kept until its natural end. It was um, fortunate that Olympias saw your death as an offering, uh, more so than I learned of it in time, and it um, washed our father's dead away. If such an early death was, uh, 
was, uh, death even was thrice blessed. It was yours, by any number of blessings, even a numerous, even as numerous as the stars in the sky, are not enough to uh, lay down one's, uh, one's life. Beyond that, uh, the misdeeds were not uh, yours to bear, no matter how much he tried to impose. <laughs> but he, uh, cur but his curse did not uh, affect only him, Andrews. It harmed uh, our mother and our countrymen, didn't it? Could it be that, Mom? I don't know. Uh, it is true his actions uh, harmed others. I am a prince, as much as you. We both know it is acceptable to die for our uh, subjects. Indeed, uh, but it but if only that were your intentions, Asterion. Let's push away all these legal uh, legal arguments. Uh, tell me the truth. Why, why did you do it? Why did you let the Athenians take your life? I was alone, Andragos. I, I was abandoned there. Would there have been an end to it? I waited and waited, but father never came. I thought it would uh, last forever. Then I... The uh, expunged a matter happened. I failed, and then was told a redeemer would come. I thought it was prophecy. As the man spoke the fate's words, and indeed, someone did come. The Athenian. And he could... He had driven iron. He had divine um, iron in him. So, uh, it came to pass. I can't say I am surprised. You were always so reserved. A part of me hoped you were, uh, uh you among all of us would, uh, fare the best in the, uh, best in the labyrinth. At least long enough for me to conceive, convince father to change his mind. But he was immovable, and my time was cut short. No, Asterion, I must say I am sorry once more. I failed to stop father from sending you to the labyrinth, and then failed to change his mind. In truth, I know I don't know if I would um have fared better in your place. The Minotaur felt tears welling up in his eyes, but no, he did not cry. No matter what An Andragos uh <clears throat> might have said later. Later. You know, life in the Affidel Meadow is not unple unpleasant. In truth, it is quite tolerable. There is no indign indignity there. But you will have to, um, uh, work just as hard as any farmer and soldier would. I am not afraid of work. An Olympian, uh, the Olympians, um, uh, made me strong to bear a yoke no human could. On my way to the, uh, to the, uh, to the court, I talked with the guards. They told me I would be, um, welcome among their ranks. A guard? Now, um, uh, pro... Pronio, Pronios, uh, would be happy to hear that, and I'm um, sure our relative, our relatives, the judges, would appreciate the news. Yes, there is no doubt you would be fine. You would um, find a welcoming but strict profession among the guards of the realm. But uh, will we be able to see each other? We've only just. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, under most circumstances, uh, the answer would be no. Souls are not allowed to cross from Aphidel to Elysium or vice versa. But I can, as a, spe a special privilege for winning uh, the most recent athletic contest of Hades. So, for the for foreseeable future, I may cross over. My privilege won't last long, perhaps a year or two. But you um, became a uh, guard, then you might um, get stationed at Elysium, and then... Andragos kept on talking. Uh, we wove a plan, most detailed, uh, who they uh, should approach. Uh, wait, ha yeah, who they should approach. Uh, how his younger brother would perf should perform the um, official and the unsaid laws governing the dead. Asterion listened to his brother's honeyed, wor honeyed voice. His um, thoroughness and clarity a, a comfort. The Minotaur's eyes. Uh, teared up as he um, realized he could um, love this land, the realm of Hades. Okay. 
we'll um we'll end the part here so i'll see you around everyone